Chris and I'm Jack and you're watching Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today we're here at Reef Galleria Aquarium Cafe in South Melbourne and this is going to be the first video in a mini series that I'm doing featuring Reef Galleria and we're going to talk a little bit about reefing in the current environment particularly here in Melbourne given we're in stage 4 lockdown and COVID and all of that stuff so but life goes on and so does the aquarium trade and the, the reef hobby. Um, so today we're going to do a bit of a tour of the shop, we're going to look at some of the stock which is available for ordering online. Uh, Reef Galleria has a website, I'll, I'll have that linked on the bottom. And um, online orders continue as well as obviously if you need emergency supplies such as fresh water, salt water, food to feed your fish and corals, all of that you are allowed to come to the shop uh, to buy uh, as long as it's the closest shop to you. Um, can't be driving all the way across Melbourne past five or six fish shops to come to this one, unfortunately. You can do that after lockdown, but for the moment, you've got to go to your most local, local fish store for those emergency supplies. But let's do a bit of a tour of the shop. Jack can show us some of the awesome stock that we've got here. And yeah, let's have a look at some of the goodies. Okay guys, so Reef Galleria is over with business. Currently we're trading uh, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday. Tuesday and Friday, 1.30 to 6 p.m. And then Saturday, Sundays is 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Um, so yeah, that's our current trading hours. We do have a book and hand sanitizer at the front. If you can fill in the book when you come in, um, just so we can keep track. If something does go wrong, we can uh, contact all our uh, most recent clients to let them know here's what's happened. Um, and then the sand, hand sanitizers for your safety and our safety. Uh, masks must be worn on arrival as well. All online orders are for dry goods only. We're currently not doing livestock because shipping is a little bit of a risk factor at the moment for us. Dry goods will be available and updated uh, this week. Click and Collect is also available if you don't feel comfortable coming to the shop. Give us a call when you're here or before you come. Um, I'm more than happy to pack your order and bring it out to the car for you. Also as well, I'm more than happy to do uh, FaceTime calls uh, if you do want to purchase coral while you're here. First of all, uh, let's go through this uh, water box tank we have at the front. Um, some of these corals have featured online uh, recently, so they might be familiar. But um, yeah, so we've got some beautiful trackies out the front. They are just massive. Um, we're actually looking after them for a customer while in his house. But um, they are some, some phenomenal pieces and the pole of extension is just nuts uh, some days. Got our rose bubble tip. There's a little Adonis frag up there, some Dallas. Mostly just soft corals. This was going to be an SPS tank, but we decided to go down the path of soft corals because we are renovating our giant L-shaped tank to be our SPS tank. Around here, we got some beautiful, nice deshies, like dinner plate size deshies. They are just giant. That um, thing is huge. Yeah. yeah. And this one's even bigger. Yeah, wow. Well, like some beautiful orange on them. That, that is not a baby yellow tank. That's an adult yellow tank. <laughs> and then on this side, we also got a new water system as well, which is great. So, RO water and salt water. We don't have to carry buckets into the bathroom. It's just all linked. All our systems can be topped up easily now as well, because we've got taps here for salt and RO. Um, the, the salt water is constantly 24 hours a day recirculating, so you know your salinity is going to be even throughout. Um, and yeah, so fillable through these hoses here. Moving on, we've got a ton of uh, Zolfrags that are done by customers and myself and uh, Brett as well who works in the shop. So all your different named Zoas, uh, mostly in stock, um, constantly fragging and, and doing things with Zoas. Um, if there's something that isn't here that you have, I'm more than interested in uh, increasing the collection that we offer. Uh, and then lots of, basically this rack is a beginner rack. So you've got Morphs, Redactus, uh, uh, star polyps, leathers, uh, Cinellaria, lots of different beginner corals. Um, each one is on their own plug and individualized. Um, pricing is all the front as well. We've just recently upgraded all our cabinetry. So we now have two uh, scapers pits at the back of each tank now. So uh, one is a real reef shelf. Um, so we've got um, shelf rock, the base rock, 
um, some sand to play in. Uh, each uh, shelf is four foot long, so we can divide it up and, and customize the skate for you. Got all the branching rock and all the other assorted pieces there as well. Uh, and then this side is Aquaforest Rock. So Aquaforest Rock have actually up their game a bit in terms of rock. They have these awesome pre-made structures now with caves and other pieces in them. So uh, they're really, really cool, uh, especially if you're not uh, creative minded and want something nice and easy. Um, then that's probably the rock I would use for your home tank. Moving on, we've uh, done some more fragging ourselves here. So we've got different variety species, lepastria species, uh, Montefiore species from Sustainable Reefs and us, um, all in this section, and then tons of helios and beautiful hammers as well. So it's a nice green stem hammer here that the color is getting better and better each day. Um, some pearl hammers, some peach hammers, uh, heaps of helios. So and especially this giant, like that's massive. If you need something to fill your tank, then, then yeah, that's probably <laughs> like the largest helio I've ever seen. <laughs> extra large. It's like extra, extra large. Um, there's some rose bubble tips in there, you probably can see them even from the top here. Yeah. So um, some rose bubble tips, One, this one here is uh, from our display and a couple others a bit more orange than I've seen before. Um, so they're quite interesting as well. And upon uh, changing our L-shaped tank to a SPS dominant system, there are some of the corals and display pieces for sale. For example, these giant green morphs, you probably recognize if you've been to the shop before. They're up for grabs, um, and a couple of other species of coral that you'll see throughout. Um, but yeah, so uh, some awesome new bubble corals have come in as well, like these limes, and then these ones have like a green marbling on them, yeah. which I haven't really seen before. Yeah, that, that's really rare actually for a bubble coral to come in two colors like that. Normally they're just either like the blue uh, like these more common ones, but these these bright green ones and these marbled ones are really great. We've also got some ac extra large colonies that have come in, so like this torch colony is just giant, and then this hammer, reverse stem hammer is giant as well, it keeps going further and further back uh, there, so like I think I counted about 25 heads on that, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, some nice green hammers and marbles throughout too, um, that are quite sizable. Uh, a few deshies on the bottom as well, Progressing to trackies, so nice green trackies, red and greens, some red cyanarinas, some frosted cyanarinas, which I haven't really seen too much of before. A couple of fluffy morphs from our original uh, display. These beautiful blastomusa, they've been here a while, can't they're, believe they're still here, they're, they're just really puffy, yeah, yeah. really puffy, really looking nice. You got all the different color varieties too. too. I think the key with blasters is uh, just plenty of food. Amino acids, refroids, you know, paste on them, like just give them the care and they'll be like puffy like that. Mm. Now tell us about this scully here. It's like it got real yellow in it. Yeah, so that yellow scully's been with us for a while. It just came in as a regular bleeding apple. And then I saw it develop like a yellow freckle and then I've just kind of tried to cook it as hard as I could. and. Uh, that's the result. So it's pretty yellow. Um, yeah, it's super nice. And we're into Aliopora and Gonipora. Like. Yeah, yeah. So Alveos and Gonies. Um, Alveos are probably, in my opinion, a little bit easier if you wanted to start with uh, something of this kind of family, um, then progress to Gonipora. Alveopora tend to be a bit cheaper as well if, if, if price is an issue. Um, but you can get some nice little patterns on the, the alveos. I, the way I tell the difference between the two is one looks like a cartoon flower, which is the alveopora, and the other one just doesn't really look like much of a cartoon flower, which is the goniopora. Um, so they're pretty easy, easy to differentiate. Uh, also, the goni will have 24 tentacles, if you can be bothered counting, uh, whereas alveos generally have 12. So moving on, there's a... Uh, this whole wall of hammers here is uh, um, categorized into a couple of different price points, but um, just as easy for customers to read and, and work out. Um, so we've basically got small hammers, which are generally one large head or two smaller heads, which are about 30 bucks for an uh, individual. Um, so beautiful mint hammers, which their, their extension is crazy. Also the membrane extension, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it goes almost to the plug, 
that yeah. they're on. So they're not really long tentacles. Really far. I'll see if I can find, give you an example. Yeah, so a pro tip, if you're looking to buy hammers and yeah. you want to know whether it's a healthy hammer or not, look underneath it and see how far down. If that's fleshy, then, yeah, you, the then flesh you're good to go. And you can see that the flesh goes all the way to the plug on these. It's really, really a sign of a very healthy hammer. Moving on, so what we categorize as a medium hammer, which is two larger heads or three smaller heads. Um, some nice marbles and greens here. Yeah, um, really good ones. And our larger hammers, which is just whatever's more than usually three heads, um, three large heads. And then these like bright Good yellow yellows, ones. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. A couple of singular reverse steps. There's this one piece up here as well that you've got listed as a as a hammer garden. Oh uh, yeah. There's a, it looks like there's three or four different. Yeah, colors. so there's four different types on that one. I just got a bit creative. This idea actually came from Eric at Ark Aquariums. Um, so I just found a, a dead hammer skeleton, used the bandsaw to cut some flat surfaces and glued one of each type of hammer on there. So you've got a, a yellow, a yellow reverse, reverse like, a, like a gold spotted, and then just like this really neat like kind of whitish teal. teal, teal, white teal yeah. yeah, yeah. Sweet. Instant hammer gun. So those have been to the store a while back, probably didn't see our renovated cabinetry, but we've just got it done. So we've got a lot of room for more stuff, it's a bit more easier to navigate, things are priced better, so um, just making the experience a lot easier for customers. So uh, this is mostly the fix-it shelf, I like to call it. So uh, there's glue here, there's coral dip here, there's a Dr. Tim's range, there's the Blue, uh, blue Life Vet range, um, Aquarium Systems range, just all the little bits and pieces you need to fix certain issues. Um, coral food shelves, so amino acids, uh, coral essentials, the plus range, the black label as it's usually called, uh, reefroids, vitalis. Yep. Then you've kind of got your dosing area, so um, reef anabolics, macro powders, and then trace liquids, cleaners, so magnet cleaners, flippers, hex marine magnets, heaters. Info thermostats, all different types of food with your veggie clips. Um, so there's magnets and suction cups. The uh, the seaweed to go in those, yep. which I found does not disintegrate like nori from Safeway. Uh, it stays there all day, even some multiple days. Uh, tangs graze on it really easily. One tang doesn't just take the whole sheet and run away with it. So I found that to be a better solution to feeding nori or, or, or Seaweed based foods. Um, full aquaforest range. Full aquaforest range of uh, supplements and foods. Uh, full range of Vitalis foods. Uh, aquaforest test kits as well. And then we've got the Hannah checkers and, and the reagents yeah. if you need any of that. Test kits and what's that in the back there? Those this is all calcium reactor media. So the arm um, calcium reactor media, cool. quite coarse. Um, this is what we use on our calcium reactor on the SPS system. All right. Um, and then different range of electronics. So we've got uh, wave makers, the Neuro 5s, the uh, Maxpec Jump series, the Rossmont movers, if you're after something a bit more budget friendly, and AC, uh, return pumps, Some reactors. reactors, and then Gen 5 radions, which have been out of stock for a while, which we've finally got in. A few senais and primes around as well, so plenty of stocks. Freezers full of uh, brine shrimp and mice shrimp and some sari aquatic nutrition as well, so the poor meat, white fish and bro. And then this fish is pretty special, uh, probably one of my favourite fish. So all of our fish stock that is for sale at Reef Gallery has been tank transferred. Uh, so white spot free, we also treat for flukes. Uh, worms um, and bacterial infections as well. So, so, so what is this fish? This is a marine better. Uh, so he is a often called comet groper as well. Uh, smaller predatory fish. Um, yeah, they're, they're awesome fish. Just absolutely stunning. Um, Reef safe? I, I see he's in there with a fox face and there's what, a clown and another tank. Yeah, safe too. with coral. I probably wouldn't trust him with smaller fish or yep. shrimp. 
right? So not not probably friendly if you've got blood shrimp in your tank yeah, or anything like probably that. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks so much for that tour, Jack. That's really awesome, and there's some absolutely amazing stock in here. Obviously, there are some restrictions at the moment that we have to abide by, such as wearing a mask and um, the quarantine restrictions for Phase Four here in Melbourne. But the online store is still available, Click and Collect is still available, uh, and if in doubt, just give the shop a call and Jack will be more than happy to answer any of your questions and figure out what we are and are not allowed to do with regard to uh, operating in this current climate. But, you know, you still need to feed your fish, you still need to feed your coral, you still need water and all the basic life essentials and the shop is definitely here to support you on that. Thanks very much. This will be the first in a series featuring Jack and uh, the Reef Gallery Aquarium and Cafe here in South Melbourne through this quarantine period. So we're taking the opportunity uh, without many people around in the shop to be able to do some content that might have otherwise been a little bit difficult to do. But um, hope you found this video interesting. My name is Marcus. And I'm Jack. You've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.